Welcome to Watches with Dennis, and today I want to talk about four new gold-colored U.S. edition Seiko 5 sports models that were recently unveiled. Two of the models feature fully gold-colored cases and bracelets, one of which has a matte black dial and one of which has a brushed blue dial, whereas the other two models are bi-colored, a combination of steel and gold color, one of which has a charcoal brushed dial and black bezel, the other has a brushed brown dial with a gold-colored bezel insert. All of these watches are 42.5 millimeters in diameter following the SKX-inspired case shape. They're 13.6 millimeters thick. They're 46 millimeters lug-to-lug. All of the dials are protected by Hardlex crystals, offer 100 meters of water resistance, and all of the cases and bracelets are steel regardless of the coloration. All of these watches are powered by the 4R36 movement, which is an automatic 24 joule caliber, which beats at 3 hertz, offers approximately 41 hours of power reserve, and does offer a day-date complication. These watches aren't limited, but they are part of the U.S. exclusive collection, which means you can go to Seiko's USA website or to U.S. retailers in order to acquire the watches. All four models are priced at $395 U.S. dollars. In terms of my overall thoughts, I think your attraction to this watch will really rely on whether or not you're okay with the Seiko 5 Sports aesthetic itself. These watches are fairly large at over 42 millimeters in diameter. However, the lug-to-lug on the Seiko 5 SKX style watches is pretty short. 46 millimeters is not particularly long, so I think even those with below average wrist sizes could possibly pull this watch off in terms of overhang, but it's definitely a model you want to experience to be sure you're comfortable with the over 42 millimeter diameter. And there are plenty of other Seiko 5 models that run this 42.5 millimeters, so you don't necessarily have to find this specific reference to know whether or not the case is for you. My understanding is Seiko achieves this gold coloration with a chemical treatment, so it's not like a plate. And given that the material is steel, I am assuming that the scratch resistance of the gold portions, or in the case of the all gold colored versions, all of the gold, is as resistant as regular steel. What I don't know, and I'd like if someone knows to please place it in the comments, does Seiko with this gold chemical coloration that they achieve, is it all the way through the metal, or could you scratch through it and actually just see silver underneath? Just a point of curiosity on my part. These watches are not for me. While I do enjoy 70s inspired aesthetics, and I think that's what these are going for, gold is very loud, arguably garish, and the fact that it's not real gold keeps them affordable, but for me applies a hint of artificialness that I've never really resonated with. If I were to go for one of these models, it would be one of the two two tones, actually. Two-tone may not be the most in-demand watch style, though I suppose it's arguable that it is coming back, but I did own a two-tone Citizen watch at one point, and so I have some nostalgia for the look myself. I also find that two-tone doesn't imply that real gold is being used, though I know on high-end luxury watches that is the case. But I think the all-gold colored case bracelet combinations are just too loud for me. I would say bordering on tacky, but I think the border may have been crossed. Of course, that's just my personal opinion. The pricing keeps these watches quite achievable, but obviously they're not the lowest expense watches in the Seiko 5 catalog. But those are my initial thoughts. Please comment yours below. I'd be interested in hearing what you think. If you want to support the channel in the video description, I do have a link to joining my 99 cent club. It's 99 cents a month. And I just rolled out a member discord so people can have watch discussions on that. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. And if you want to just follow along when I have new videos on the channel, just click the subscribe button. I hope you all have a really good day.